Good evening and welcome to this screencast. This is for my GCSE students taking the WJEC exam in the summer 2016 for computer science. And we are going to look at algorithm. So down here we've got uh, question 13 of a 2014 paper where we are given an algorithm and asked to write down all the outputs produced by the algorithm. So if I highlight the code in the algorithm about the output, I've got those three lines here. But we've got to be careful because in one of these lines we've got output which is an instruction and then we've got the speech marks for to um, tell us what is um, string, the string that needs to be outputted, which you don't automatically get uh, if you look at the middle line over here. Counter is a variable, so it doesn't have a speech mark. So we've got to be careful because neither output nor speech marks have got to be part of your answer. In fact, here's one I've done earlier. This is what should appear on the screen except for the middle line. As we're going to see, uh, there's more to the middle line than just count is. reason for that is this loop here. So we've got a repeat until counter equals 3 and here we increment the counter before this is done before outputting count is and then counter. And also important is to see that the counter is initialized at zero. So the first time you go through the loop, you increase the counter from zero to one, and then you output on the screen count is and then the value of counter, which at that time will be one. So let's go back to my output here, count is 1. But then I go round the loop again, and this time count will be 2. And then one last time, count is 3. At that point, I reach the stop condition for my repeat loop counter equals 3 and I exit the loop and then display loop as ended. So this here is what sh you should write um, as the answer for this question in the exam. And we are going to have a look next at 2015. We are now looking at the 2015 exam paper. I've uh, already highlighted in yellow the two lines that uh, have the instructions output. So these are the lines that will display something on the screen. And here in our Word document, um, I've already written five times total is, because our loop goes, it's a for loop that goes from one to five, and also mean is, which is uh, what is outputted once we get out of the for loop. So, we now need to look at the maths because uh, this time it's a bit more complicated than just displaying the, uh, the counter. Um, as you can see, you initialize total at zero and then at each iteration of a for loop, you're going to add uh, the, the loop counter to the total. Now down here, I've uh, done the maths already. And now I would advise you during the exam to just write it down on a piece of paper rather than try to keep it all inside your head. Uh, this is a simple question, but it's so easy to make a mistake if you rush it. So the first time, this, uh, the first column is our total. The second column is the index. As you can see, the index goes one, two, three, four, five. But each time you do that, um, total is initialized at zero up here, so zero plus one is one, but then one plus two is three, which then gives you three plus three, and then six plus four, and finally 10 plus five. 
you then divide your 10 plus 5, your 15, you divide it by 5, and then the mean will be 3. So if I uh, input these maths into our um, what is going to be displayed, then we're going to have total is 1, total is 2. Sorry, my mistake. Even though I've just explained it, as you can see, it's so easy to make uh, a silly attention mistake like that. 6, 10, 15, and then the mean is 3. And this is the uh, what you need to write uh, to score maximum marks in this question. Now uh, keep practicing and best of luck for your exam.